plagiarism is the act of taking another person's literary works or introducing passages from another man's writings and making them as if they were their own. It is a form of literary theft. Plagiarism today has become extensive. It has become an issue of growing concern across universities. This is a quote from Harris in 2007. How much of a concern is it today? Or is it really a concern? It is. In 2015, Susan Perry quoted the following statistics from plagiarism. She said among scientists that 2% of polled scientists admitted to falsifying or fabricating data at least once, while 34% acknowledged they had engaged in other questionable research practices. The title of Susan Perry's article sums up the extent of the problem. Plagiarism, fraud, and predatory publishing are polluting science. Could there be any better reason to avoid plagiarism? In an instructional setting, plagiarism occurs when a writer deliberately uses someone else's language, ideas, or other original, which means it's not common knowledge, material without acknowledging the source. This definition applies to texts published in print or even online, to manuscripts, and to the work of other students as well. Generally, the discussions of plagiarism fail to distinguish between submitting someone else's text as their own or attempting to blur the line between someone's ideas and words and those borrowed from another source. Even carelessly or inadequately citing ideas and words borrowed from another source. It is really quite simple to understand. If you didn't think it, it isn't yours. A favorite way to explain plagiarisms to students of all ages is if it sounds familiar or if you borrowed the words from someone else, it's plagiarism. Ponder, how can you paraphrase this definition by the Council of Writing Program Administration, putting it into your own words to make it easier to understand?